sports are games played by the people of this strange planet. They seem to come in two main types, those that involve balls and those that don't. Further analysis has shown two main divisions in each type. Games involving balls are divided into football and others, while those not involving balls are divided into running and others. First, ball sports, in particular, football. Football comes in different forms, all confusingly called football, and using differently shaped balls, and different shaped arenas. The goal of the game seems to be to reach the goal. Football called rugby or thugby, also called rugby. There seems to be two variants of the game, one where the players are in a union, and one where they're in a league. This game seems to consist of a group of men, who sniff each other's bottoms, then run a little bit before falling over. Occasionally the ball is actually kicked, but normally it's thrown. This game seems to be for second-rate players, as they are awarded points just for trying. And keep going backwards, away from their own goals. The game is popular in a place called, Five Nations. Football called soccer, also called world ball. This game is popular among the working classes of the planet. In this game the ball is kicked or rebounded off the head, but not thrown or punched. Supporters of the game, called, soccer hooligans, often continue the game after its official end, in the stands, car parks and streets around the venue. The non-cerebral nature of the fans also explains why, when being told the game was a nil or draw, the fans not seeing the match will still ask what the score was, at half-time. Football called AFL, also called Aussie Rules, or Aerial Ping Pong. In this variation of the game, the ball seems to feature only incidentally. The main point of the game seems to be brawling, known as a melee or, it's on now. When in play, the ball can be kicked or punched but not thrown. In this game players are, strangely, awarded points for missing the goal. Considering how brutal this game can be, the players are vain about their appearance, pulling their socks up before kicking the ball after what they call, a mark or, that was never a free kick. The umpires are allowed to bounce or throw the ball, but not to kick it. Some umpires are also given flags that they wave to attract the attention of the onlookers, who get interested when they wave just one but really excited when they wave two of them. Football called gridiron, also called American football. Unlike the other forms of football, this game appears to be played by people who really don't want to be there. They play in body armor, as if they are afraid of being hurt. Instead of taking part in all facets of the game, players seem to come on for one task, say, to kick the ball, then get back off the ground as soon as they can. Because the players are reluctant to be there. Special lines are painted on the arena, to help them know which way to go, and how far they have gone. To make it even easier, the team doesn't have to kick their goals, points can be scored by carrying the ball over the goal line, catching a ball thrown over the goal line, or just catching the opponent in his own end zone. This is the zone at the end of the field. Gaelic football seems to be played on an island, and from what we can understand of the game, seems to be an amalgam of the games known as soccer and AFL. It uses a round ball, like soccer, but is bounced and kicked like an AFL ball. The goal is like a soccer goal, but is stretched between posts that look like AFL goal posts. Like AFL, players are awarded points, even if they miss the goal. With a game as confusing as this, it's not surprising it's only played on islands. In later episodes I'll discuss ball games that aren't football as well as non-ball games. Football, though, appears to be a very popular game, confusing though it is, where the arena is sometimes square and sometimes oval. The ball is sometimes oval and sometimes round, the ball, whatever its shape, is sometimes kicked, thrown or punched, and scores are awarded even when the goals are not actually scored. If this range of football games sounds confusing, wait until we get to some of the other sports played on this backward planet.